First step is to download VirtualBox. Open the browser. Go to virtualbox.org. Click on download button to download VirtualBox. As host machine is Windows, select Windows hosts and download will start. Wait for it to complete. Next step is to download the Ubuntu ISO. Open the browser. Go to ubuntu.com forward slash desktop. Click on download Ubuntu desktop. Scroll down until you see Ubuntu 24.10. Click download 24.10 and download will start. Wait for it to complete. Next step is to install Oracle VirtualBox. Open the Explorer and head to Downloads directory. Right-click on VirtualBox Installer and select Run as Administrator. Wait for Installer to start. Complete the installation as shown on the screen. Click on Finish and it will open VirtualBox. Next step is to create a virtual machine. Click New button from the top bar. It will open a wizard to configure the virtual machine. Set the name to Ubuntu 24.10. Set the appropriate path where you want to store the virtual machine. Click on the drop-down for ISO image and select others. Go to Downloads folder and select Ubuntu 24.10 ISO. Click Open. VirtualBox will identify the OS type, subtype and version. Checked Skip Unattended Installation checkbox. Click Next. On this tab, we need to allocate the RAM and processor cores to the virtual machine. Do not overassign the RAM or processing cores to virtual machine as your host machine needs some of it. As the host system is having 32 GB of RAM, it is safe to allocate 8 GB to virtual machine. And host machine have 16 cores so it is safe to assign 4 cores to virtual machine. Click Next. On this tab, we need to allocate the virtual hard drive to the machine. 40 GB of the drive is enough for the installation of Ubuntu. You need to set this based on your requirement. Click Next. Click Finish and your virtual machine is created. In the next step we will change some of the settings of virtual machine like assign network and sharing clipboard. Select the machine and click on Settings. Click on Expert button. In the General tab go to Advance. Set Shared Clipboard to Bidirectional and Drag and Drop to Bidirectional. Click on the System tab. Uncheck the Floppy from Boot Order. Click on the Network tab. In the Adapter 1, change that attached to from NAT to Bridged Adapter. Click on the name drop-down and select your network card. Click OK to close the settings. Next step is to install Ubuntu. Select the machine and click Start. Check the Do Not Show checkbox and click Capture. Select Try or Install Ubuntu and press Enter. Wait for Ubuntu to boot. 
wait for Ubuntu installer to load. Select full screen from view menu. Check do not show checkbox and click switch. Select the language to install Ubuntu. I am selecting English. Click next. Click next. Select the keyboard layout you have. In my case I am selecting German keyboard. Click next. Select use wired connection and click next. Select install Ubuntu and click next. Select interactive installation and click next. Select extended selection. It will install Office Pack and other tools. Click next. Check both the checkboxes and click next. Select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu, and click Next. Set your name, computer name, username and password, and click Next. Select your time zone and click Next. Review the choices and click Install. Wait for 10 to 15 minutes for installation to finish. Installation is now complete. Click Restart now to restart the machine. Press Enter and wait for Reboot. Select the user and enter the password to login. On the welcome screen click next. Select no and click next. Click finish. Installation is now complete. Next step is to install VirtualBox guest editions to Ubuntu. Guest editions boost graphics, mouse integration, shared clipboard, folders, resizing, time sync, and network performance. Go to Devices menu and select Insert Guest Editions CD image. A CD drive with Guest Editions is now mounted on the taskbar. Open it. And select Run Software. Click Run. Enter password and wait for installation to complete. Guest Editions needs packages like GCC, Make, and Perl to function properly. To install these dependencies, open a new terminal window. Type sudo apt install GCC, Make, Perl and press Enter. Type the password and press Enter. Type Y and press Enter to continue. Installation of guest editions are now complete. Please restart Ubuntu by typing sudo reboot and press enter. Wait for Ubuntu to restart. Login with the password. 
Next step is to update the packages to the latest version. Open a new terminal window from the apps menu. Type sudo apt update and press enter. Type sudo apt upgrade and press enter. Type Y and press enter. This will download the latest packages and install them. Wait for installation to complete. To remove the packages which are not needed after the update, type sudo apt auto remove and press enter. Type Y and press enter. Wait for it to complete. Congratulations! The installation of Ubuntu 24.10 on virtual machine using VirtualBox is now complete. If you're enjoying this content and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button. Got something on your mind or a question you'd like us to cover? Drop it in the comments below, we love hearing from you. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel. Stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.